You drop the bomb on me, do do do, baby. You drop the bomb on me. I'm sorry. As soon as I hit record and step back, I saw the bomb and I was like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm probably about to get a lot of hate for this one. Tactical topic. So, Double KO just dropped the video. Well, 2XKO. I call it Double KO because it makes more sense. Or honestly, just go back to Project L. But anyway, they dropped this on Twitter. And my first response was, oh, cool, direction of notations. I haven't seen that in a while. I missed that. I like that way more than the number crap. And man, people took that as hate. <laughs> and even then, under the replies, it was basically a lot of people just saying, um, actually, you're supposed to do it this way. Or the whole, you know, when somebody changes somebody's art for no reason, they said, fixed it. And I was like, wow, y'all are really salty about this. Like, dang. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't everybody. It was a few people out there saying their reasons why they like it more, but it was some people just being complete assholes and crying about it. Which I find ironic because one of the people in there was talking about how Directional's always complaining about number pad as he's complaining about Directional. So I'm like, you're doing it right now. <laughs> but yeah, Sano got real smart ass and was wrong about a few things. So I got smart ass back and made sure I made it wrong just to fuck with people. And oof, some people took the bait. <laughs> Like, yeah, good for the other people around the world that they can read the numbers. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I don't care about them. I like directional. I don't care if it's easier for everybody to learn. I like seeing directional. That's me. That's my preference. And even then, I've seen a lot of people also on the other side like, oh, yeah, I love this. This is the way I learned. I like it. And oh, yeah, before this, before, because I got this a lot too, I can read both doesn't take that long to actually learn it it's, it's not that hard but some people again prefer the other way it's okay to choose either or but don't stuff your way down somebody's throat if they don't want to learn it they don't have to in directional way is a lot easier because i have a lot of casual friends because they know i play fighting games so they'll always come to me for fighting game stuff or they want to play and when fighters came out you know a lot of casuals came to play and Oh, I remember this altercation. I was making a joke about a crouching heavy. And the dude said, um, it's too heavy. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm right. No, it's too heavy. They're both right. Why are you trying to correct me? And I said, you know what? Block, whatever. I don't have time for this. But anyway, like I have a friend, loves Dragon Ball Z, loves fighting games, plays Street Fighter, Blaze Blue, and all that stuff with me all the time. And I said, you know what? I'm curious. I said, hey, do it too heavy. You know what he did? He pressed heavy twice. So I said, do crouching heavy. He did the crouching heavy. So off bat, newcomers, they don't understand that. You got to teach it to them. With that, yeah, you still got to teach it to them, but that's way more understandable from hearing forward, back, up, or down, because those are directionals that we automatically already know. So yeah, for the casuals, they learn better. And when I did say that, somebody was like, well, this is easy too. I'm like, it is, but they can learn faster that way. They're not even going to look up these combos. Yes, they do. A lot of people look up, um, combos just because they're not pro players and again a lot of people aren't pro players there's a majority of casual over pros which pros seem not to understand that <laughs> the casual is bigger than the pro space the casuals are in the pro space you know how many people go to combo breaker evo all that who are just casuals who are just there for the fun of it but yeah all in all it's just a preference and it seems that a lot of old heads like it the traditional way. Oh God, I'm using the word traditional now again with fighting games. It always tr triggers back to traditional. <laughs> and then the funny thing is, Double KO had it covered. They have Double KO Japan where they showed it in Japanese and uh, Double KO um, the other one. Like they have it universally already for every each every individual. So what's the problem? Especially if you can read number pad, that means you can read directional. So what is the problem? <laughs> it's like one is English and the other one is cursive. Not everybody knows that anymore, <laughs> which is really crazy because my daughter got a letter from my auntie and it was in cursive and I had to read it for her. I was like, oh yeah, they don't teach this no more. Dang. <laughs> and for all the smart asses that keep saying this is the universal way. No, it's not. The universal way is arrow direction. Even in the games, and when you go to the command list, it's arrows. Arrow direction is a universal way. Matter of fact, I don't even know a game that does number direction because they keep saying anime fighter. I was like, I started pro 
with Blaze Blue, and those was arrows. And not, yeah, I'm trying to think about it because I know Street Fighter does arrows, but Street Fighter 6 for one um, thing on Twitter, they showed the numbered thing, but it's arrows. At the end of the day, everybody can read the arrows, which somebody even pointed out was like, yeah, uh, use arrows if y'all want to be universal. <laughs> And the number thing doesn't work for everybody. Doesn't really work for Tekken and Mortal Kombat since their attack buttons are the numbers. But yet you want them to change up their style to fit you. Like telling them to change it to A, B, C, D or how double KO's S1 and S2 can be S, A and S, B. S, A. Oh yeah, don't do that. Do not change it to S, A. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about another thing, but it's so hard to word that without completely sounding like the enemy with my opinions. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to let that one go because like this was done a few days ago. This was actually done the weekend of the whole number pad thing. But as I was editing, I was sitting like, yeah, I can't I can't say this without sounding like the complete enemy because people are going to take it the wrong way. So, you know what? We're not even going to talk about that. So we're going to skip to the last segment. <laughs> Which is about my last video. So, you know, my last video, I was talking about the whole FGC content and, you know, it's out there if you look for it. And I got a few replies. One of them being, it's the algorithm fault because I will watch you and then I'll get something completely different. Or I will watch uh, the main event, the main man. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It's either main event or main man. And I'll get something completely different. But then when I watch somebody like Alpha Rat, I'll get Alpha Rat videos. And I'm like, you know what? That's true. I'll watch like Nitro Rat, Alpha Rat pro jared and once it ends all those thumbnails that show up majority are their sh um show so you, you know you keep watching them but then when i watch somebody like max or justin wong it scatters i don't really get the same thing in the algorithm so it could be the algorithm's fault you two don't like fighting games there you go we have it then I had one dude saying like, yeah, when I post videos, I get so much hate or I'm weak, I'm a new, I'm a scrub. It happens all the dang time. And I was like, bruh, I feel you. I wake up every day to some scrub stuff. Like my recent video where I did the evil qualifier for PlayStation 5 and one with King. And literally only lost one round. So I was 3-0, 3-0, 3-1, 3-0, 3-0. That's good. But no, somebody came in there and said, not to be rude, proceeds to be rude. <laughs> And critique what I play. I was like, okay, one, you are rude. Two, I don't need a coach. It hit me with that. I'm sorry that you feel that way, but it wasn't rude. I was just telling you you could do better. Like, I won. All you can say is congratulations or something. If you don't want to be rude, you could have said, great job, congrats, A, you won. Not, oh, that's negative 12 on frame. You shouldn't do that. You rely on strings too much and blah, 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 blah. I won. I don't care. It's not like I am sitting there going all the way to the freaking finals and I am just going to be trying to be the, I mean, I mean, trying to be good, but you know, this is more of a hobby than me sitting there. No, I'm here to put on a show more than win. But I also had another comment talking about they want more toxicity in the FGC, like low tier guy, because that stuff is hyped. I'm like, no, we already have that, but most of them are just keyboard warriors behind the screen on screen yeah maybe but at the end of the day no we don't need that because if he gets toxic his community becomes toxic and they spread that shit over and that shit gets annoying like like i said every single time i wake up scrub stuff no skill you use the cheapest players you suck you're yellow rank i'm like bruh why didn't you call me green rank i was like green rank still a thing oh yeah green rank is way back at the beginning i'm like Dude, you can look at my Tekken prowess and see I am nowhere near that rank. <laughs> but nope, since my, my shorts are cropped and you don't watch the full videos, I am a lowly scrub in yellow rank that can't get past red. <laughs> Which now I have two characters in purple rank now because eh, I've been playing rank again because now it seems for some reason when I play casual, they only have me fight in blue ranks. So now I got to go into rank, put it down to two so I can actually fight people on my skill level. I'm like, bruh, I ran into three blue Azus as a red Eddie. I said, I'm done with casual. <laughs> That's not even fair, bruh. I got tired of that. But uh, yeah, 
and as i'm recording this we got some intel on the street fighter 6 patch and they nerfed ihana's stupid um butt slam thank goodness that thing is ridiculous that should not have been safe on block but now it is still safe on block but he gets pushed far away from you so he can't continue strings so thank goodness i got tired of that move like oh i'm just gonna keep doing this and i know it's a skill issue but it's a very annoying skill issue for him to do something that stupid and be that safe because <laughs> then like the characters i use uh, it's so hard because like with cammy she doesn't really have a good anti-air except for her spiral and that's at an angle so she can miss and kimberly sometimes her um crouching heavy misses too and then i know i can't do ex spin so like if i have ken or ryu i can easily deal with that but the characters i use it is so hard to deal with that sometimes even with dj because since dj has back medium kick for his anti-air the way e honda would sometimes land it will cross me up so i can't do that anti-air and i'm like bruh and he can't do his flash kick because again he goes forward a little bit so he can completely whiffs and then he gets a free hit off of me so the characters i use against e honda didn't really have a chance against that bull crap so when i know i'm going against e honda i will probably switch to like ryu or ken so i can deal with that crap or um rashid rashid i was using rashid for a long time against him because because uh, he just goes straight up so it completely stops that crap and for the people who's that's about to say oh just hit parry no because the fact is that as soon as he does that he can go into a hit a grab or just do it again that was the whole problem with it because he landed so freaking close to you and it was safe so now it's still safe but he lands away from you it pushes the crap out of both of y'all so thank goodness i am so glad they added that but i'm seeing all the e honda um people mad as crap that's the only way we can get in and i was like oh crap that is kind of their best way to get in guess you gotta find a new way but yeah that's all i wanted to talk about so i want to hear some comments down below are you a number pad or directional or are you the universal arrows because everybody can learn that one easily <laughs> Do you even care if somebody posts something? Does it matter which one? Can you understand all of them? Cause yeah, again, I can understand them. I just prefer directional. Cause like, yeah, it doesn't take long to actually learn it, but people automatically will know crouching heavy over too heavy. So yeah, uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. So until next time, was your boy Slick. Woo -woo!